Hello everyone, welcome again. In the previous tutorial, we learned that, how to insert an image, in Java Swing. Now in this tutorial we are going to connect our application, with database. We are going to connect our Java Swing application, with Microsoft Access database. I have taken Microsoft Access, because you don't have to install any database server separately. Before we do this, I presume that, Java is already installed on your system, and you have already basic knowledge of Java. So, now you have to download you can access library from the internet. You can access is a pure Java implementation it runs on both Windows and non-Windows operating systems. You can access comes with four other dependencies, that are Jaxs, Commons Lang, Commons Logging and HSQLDB.jar, which already comes in lib folder of you can access library. Here, is the link from where you can download you can access library. So, let's start now. First of all, we will create a Microsoft Access database. Right click on the desktop. Select new. And click on the Microsoft database. And give it some name. Now open this MYDB file. Now, click on enable content. And create a new table. With some fields. Also I made some entries in it, to check the login credentials. I took, username and password two fields here. Also I made some entries in it, to check the login credentials. Save and close it. Now open the NetBeans IDE. Here, I have opened my first application, which we have created in our previous tutorial. It is just a design of login screen. And we will connect this with Access Database and test it. To connect this application with Access Database, I am going to create a connector class for it. I have already created my connector class. Now we will write the connection coding for this class. I have created the class, and also declared the instance of connection object. And now I will create a constructor of this class. Here we initiated the con object and passed the connection string in get connection method of driver manager class. You can also get these connection strings on internet according to the versions of your drivers. As we have created our database on the desktop, so, I will change it. This path should be correct. 
so, now fix the imports. And add this code in try and catch block, to avoid runtime exception. Now, simply create a method, which will return a connection object. I am creating connection maker method here. It should be created outside the constructor. So, we have created our connection class. Now we will add the UcanAxis library and its dependencies in our project. And the process is very simple, you can see this. As you can see, we have added the UcanAxis library. Now we will go to the welcome screen, and will write the code to check the username and password. Double click on the login button here to write the login code. I am going to write down all the login code in authenticate user method, and then will call this method on click of the login button. So for this, I will declare two string variables, in which I will store the values of username and password which I shall retrieve from the database. I am also going to declare two more string variables, in which I will extract the values which user will input in text field and password field on the login screen. Now make a connection object, to retrieve the username and password from the access database.
here, in this code, we have simply created a connection and we are going to use prepared statement, which is very helpful to prevent the SQL injection also. And here we will write our SQL query. Now set the parameter for username. We will require a result set, to store the retrieved data from the database. So declare a result set variable. Now, we will store the retrieved username and password in check user and check pass. Close the result set and close the connection now. Also print the exception if any. And now we will compare username and password. Now I will write, the simple logic to compare the password. You can write your own logic if you want.
so, that's it from the coding side. Let's check our application. As you see, it is working fine. I hope you like this tutorial. In the next video we will advance this application, also add some more JFrames and data search related project. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any doubt about this, please comment below. And also hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.